Hey, I'm Jeremy with Review.com, and we're here at the Adobe booth at NAB, and Adobe's actually showing off some really cool updates to their Creative Cloud software. The first one might sound kind of boring, unless you're a video editor. It's a color correction update to Adobe Premiere, and it's actually really intuitive. It's pulling ideas that Adobe took from SpeedGrade, ideas that Adobe took from Lightroom, to try to make color correction for video simpler and easier to understand. It has an auto clip selection tool, which means you hover the, the timeline cursor over clips, and if you just start editing the colors for that clip, it automatically applies to that uh, selected spot. It's got your classic color wheels, it's got uh, everything you really would want from a color correction tool in, in a way that, that is very intuitive and easy to understand. The second tool they showed off is actually a working concept. It's not in production yet, and it's called Project Candy. The idea is that you take a photo using an app on your phone, and then from that photo, you can analyze kind of the colors inside it. It creates all these bubbles. You can zero in on specific colors in that photo, and then you can output that as a look and, and take that into Premiere, apply it to clips. Uh, you could even theoretically take it into other software, anything that you can import looks to. Very cool. Uh, very interesting, kind of a little gimmicky, but I could see a lot of uses for it or just be fun to play around with. The last is also kind of a silly uh, project from Adobe. It's called the Character Creator. And what it does is it actually works with the built-in camera on your computer and you load these uh, prefabricated animated characters and then it looks at your face and analyzes your face and matches it to those animations. So essentially you're animating yourself. You can talk, it'll pick up uh, your voice on a microphone, so you, it'll move the mouth of the character. You can blink, you can raise your eyebrows, you can turn your head back and forth, a lot of that, and it'll match it to the kind of wild characters that it has pre-built into the software. Not necessarily something pros would use, but I could totally see a lot of projects making use of this and, and make a cartoon without really having any animation skills whatsoever. So those are some of the new features in Adobe Creative Cloud. You can expect to see uh, some of them coming real soon to the software, and we're excited to see them in action.